Have you ever been just so angry, so distraught after a breakup that you wanted to go bust all the windows out of his car, flatten all four of his tires, scratch his paint up, you wanted to spray paint you no good ass nigga all over the car? <laughs> I am your girl, Talisa Ray, and I am about to get you straight on five ways to get over a breakup. This is a video collab with my girl E. Michelle Beauty, the plainest Jane. Kristen Alexis and Jazzy Archer 30. Listen, stay away from the vandalism. Mm -hmm. It is a misdemeanor. You may find yourself in an orange jumpsuit up at the county jail with an unsurmountable amount of fines. Do something else, honey. Let your emotions out in a, in a healthier way. Number one, let your emotions out healthy. I mean, cry, <gasps> cry, cry. It's cleansing for you. Just like the rain cleanses the atmosphere, crying helps to purge all that negative energy, all those negative thoughts, helps to relieve a little stress. And normally you take a nap right after all that crying. But do me a favor, don't call him and cry and wanna know why y'all broke up. And don't call him and curse him out and tell him how he a no good ass nigga for walking away and cheating and whatever else. Cause that just shows that you're still vested in that relationship and he still has a chance. Mm -hmm. Number two, let's go ahead and purge his ass from our lives. Yes, purge his ass. I got a girlfriend, honey, that will block you in a heartbeat. We are gonna take a page from her book and block his motherfucking ass from texting, calling, video chatting, emailing, sending courier pigeons and messages in a bottle. Honey, we are gonna block his ass. Also from all social media outlets, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Snapchat, your Periscope, baby, your Pinterest too. Block his ass. We're gonna purge all the things that he left, that college shirt, them boxers you were sleeping in so you could smell him and shit. We gonna throw that shit in the trash along with all the gifts he, no, 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 not the gifts, not the gifts. Keep the gifts. Keep the gifts. Listen, I'm not wanting to buy them in no more sheets where she tells you to purge and get rid of that shit. Put it in a box, <laughs> put it in the garage, put it in the closet, especially when they are nice gifts. You put that stuff in a box, put it away until you are completely healed. Yeah. Number three, spin quality time with yourself. Get to know you again. You see, you have melded into one. You know how it is. You're hanging out together. You're spending so much time together that you guys have taken on each other's attributes. So much so that you guys run in the same circle now. It's like freaking frat. That's you. You're going to have to get to know you without him. It's honey, you are now one is a single number. <laughs> you are by yourself. So you get to do the shit that you've been wanting to do. Like he's a health nut, honey. He don't eat no pork and you've been sneaking bacon. Now go take your ass over there to Jack and Joe's and have you some bacon and some pancakes with some garlic butter. Mm -hmm. Cause you know he a health nut and all them carbs was too much. Girl, go on and indulge, honey. Do it for yourself. You do something for yourself. Go do the things that you like to do. Like go to the bar. Now listen, when you go take your ass to the bar, you cannot go where you guys frequent it together. You need to find you a whole new outlet. Number four, make a list. Make a list. Yeah, a con list. Nothing but con. I mean, when you list your cons, get super petty. I mean, super petty. Shit you would overlook normally, get petty with it. Hm. He breathes too hard. Petty. He chews with his mouth open. Petty. He brushes his teeth once a day. Petty. He doesn't floss. Petty. He leaves the coagulation on the toothpaste. Petty. He doesn't roll from the bottom up. Petty. He doesn't close the shower door when he gets right out. Petty. He leaves his wet towel on the floor. Petty. I mean, get super duper petty. His penis was too little. <laughs> Make that list of cons, honey, so that you are reminded of the things that did not live up to your standards anyway with your fabulous self. Last but not least, number five, to get over your ex, move on to the next. Yes, I'm telling you to pull out your whole card. Dig in your purse. Yes, I know it's been, it's deep in it. Dig, dig in your purse. You ain't been a hoe since you was in your 20s. Pull out the card, dust it off, shake it off, call your girls, and go, that's <clears throat> and pop. Baby, twerk something, please and thank you. Judge me, don't judge me, I don't care. But I do want you to be careful while you're out with your whole car, flagging it around. Make sure you're number one safe if you're deciding to have sex and not just dancing and getting drunk and stuff and standing on tables. Number two, make sure that you are safe with your emotions because as women, we get all connected. 
Mm -hmm. We get all connected and in love, and then you're in the same cycle that you were in before. I am your girl, Talisa Ray. Thank you so much for watching Five Ways to Get Over a Breakup. Do me a favor, like this video, comment on this video, let's have a dialogue, share this video, click the subscribe button plus the notification bell so that you're alerted of all videos to come in the future. Lastly, do not forget to go and check out my girl's video so that they can get you straight to. All their links are in the description box. Hugs and kisses and lots of love. I will see you on the next video.